Dogman, Grime and Punishment, by Dov Pilkey. Written and illustrated by Dov Pilkey as George Beard and Harold Hutchins, with color by Jose Garibaldi. Intro number one, George and Harold, Celebrities at Large. Hiya, pals. It's your boys, George and Harold. Sup? You're not going to believe this, but we got totally famous. It all started last week when we were selling our comics at the mall. Hey, you can't peddle your wares here. We're not peddling wares. Yeah, I've never peddled a ware in my life. Hey, what's a ware? Beats me. I'm calling the cops on you malefactors. And so? What's all this, then? These delinquents are conducting illicit transactions. Hmm, we better check this out. <laughs> hey, these comics are awesome. Thanks. Yes. We have a special discount for cops. Yeah, three for five bucks. Okay, I'll take three. Give me six. Ka-ching. Zong. Aren't you going to arrest them? Relax, Sherlock. They're just kids. The cops told everybody about our comics. And soon the crowds grew and grew. The Daily News. Mall is popular again, thanks to Juvenile's Comics. What should we do about those two kids? I know. Let's give them free food and stuff. Zong. And so... Thanks for the root beer floats, Sherlock. My name's not Sherlock. I've told you like 50 times. Well, we better get started on our next comic. Our public awaits. While we work on our next tale of depth and maturity. Check out our story thus far. Intro number two. Dogman. Our story thus far. One day a cop and a police dog got hurt in an explosion. <coughs> they got rushed to the hospital, but the doctor had sad news. <laughs> Sorry, cop dude, but your head is dying. Ah, oh, darn it. And your body is dying, doggy dude. <laughs> but then, the nurse lady got a super lit idea. I know. Let's stitch the dog's head onto Cop's body. You're a genius, nurse lady. I know. So they had a big operation. And that's how Dogman started. Dogman kept the city safe from evildoers. Rats! Until one day, when everything changed. Hi, Papa! Petey, the world's most evil cat, was transformed by love. And now he's a good guy. But even though Petey's heart has changed, his mind is still haunted by the ghosts of his past. Petey, I am your father. Hey, this didn't happen. If Petey's going to continue to do good, he might need a little help from his friends. I barely know these people. So sit back and enjoy our newest epic graphic novel. It's only a comic book. Chapter 1, Chief's Big Day. Good afternoon. I'm Mayor. Thank you for joining us on this uh, nice occasion. We are here to honor Chief for being the best chief in town. Hooray! <laughs> Isn't he the only chief in town? Shh! Here to present the award is Chief's very best friend, Dogman! Hooray! Yay. Chief Rocks! No. Where is he? He was here just a minute ago. I'll bet he's outside digging up those flower beds. My roses! Oh, don't worry, Mayor. Dogman would never do anything like that. Oh, Dogman! Listen, here he comes now. My roses! How could things get any worse? No! Introducing Flippy Rama. Bad doggy! Give me back my glasses! Don't cry, Mayor. He was just- I'm not crying! He slobbered all off my glasses. He got grime off my new suit! And he dug up my rose garden! If that dog-headed cop messes up one more time, I'm gonna take his badge away! Don't worry, sir. Dogman just gets excited, that's all. He'll be good from now on. Well, I should hope so! Now, where's my hat? Hey, my hat! Dog laugh, quick! Give me the hat! Give it! Let go! Seriously! Rip, rip, rip. Run! <coughs> Russell, 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 Russell. Swish, swish, swish. Dog man, come back here with that hat. Chapter two, the saddest chapter ever written. That night. What do you want? And what's he doing here? I thought I told you to get rid of that guy. But may I please? Don't may I please me? That dog had a cop as a nuisance, and if you won't fire him, I will. Give me your badges. You're fired, dog man. Now get off my lawn. You see, Mr. Snookums, I told you I was a powerful man. Yes, sir, everyone listens to me, because I'm the best mayor in town. Good night, Mr. Snookums. We're not going to cry, okay? We're going to be brave. We'll just go in here, and we'll, we'll walk to your desk, and we'll pack up your things. So you'll always remember us. Here's the bone that you like to chew. Here's your squeaky toy telephone. And here's the little ball you loved. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. <laughs> Gee, Chief's really crying. I'm. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm crying. It's all just allergies. I think I've got allergies too. Me too. We're well, allergic to, to sadness. sadness. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, what's going on in here? Dogman just got fired. I'm not surprised. Yeah, Dogman was an awful cop. I know, he chewed up my new phone. And he pooped in my filing cabinet again. Aren't, Aren't you ashamed, ashamed of yourself? yourself? Look, Look what, what you've, you've done. done. You made everyone cry. And you broke Chief's heart. Get out of here, Dogman. And don't come back. Splash. Chapter 3, the chapter that's totally not as sad as the last one. Meanwhile... It's okay, ADHD. You can make the tree red. It's our story. We can color it any way we want. Hey, look! Dogman is home from... What's wrong, Dogman? Flip up, flip up, flip up, flip up. Did you get in trouble at work again? What happened? <coughs> you did? <coughs> you did? <coughs> you can't? Hmm. I got an idea. Flip flop. We'll help you get your job back. Don't worry about a thing. Just come upstairs. Flip flop, flip flop. Lie down on your bed, and I'll read you a bedtime story. I wrote the words, and ADHD drew the pictures. <laughs> Are you ready? Here's Dogman. We petted Dogman by the tree. We had a dream, but it wasn't scary. Look at us. We are on the world. Do you like Dogman? We do. Now it is night time. The end. <laughs> He's asleep. Come on, ADHD. We've got work to do. Flip up, flip up, flip up, flip up. Meanwhile, in another part of town, someone else was hard at work, too. If I can just connect these tubes to the hyperdrive, then my newest invention will be... Bitsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and was the spider out. Up came the sun and... What do you cut that out? Why do you have to be so annoying? It never fails. Every time I'm working or reading or sleeping, you're jumping up and down under the bed or singing a stupid song. Or telling one of your pointless stories. Last night you woke me up to ask me what my favorite color was. I've had it up to here with you. <laughs> At last, check out my very latest invention, the Mighty Motor Brain. <laughs> Are you ready to test it? Why do you have to be so mean, Grandpa? I thought you liked me. I never said I liked you. I said I needed you. Yeah. You do? Of course I do. Pa, pa, pa. I need you to be my guinea pig. Guinea pig? Certainly. The motor brain has never been tested. It might be dangerous. That's why I need to try it out on you. But, but Grandpa, is this thing safe? Ha! Oh, don't worry, Big Jim. I'll be fine. Now let's turn this baby on. What's it supposed to do, Grandpa? It's a personality amplifier. It takes your own innermost psyche and multiplies it exponentially. So let's turn this dial up to 11 and see what happens. How do you feel, Big Jim? Me not Big Jim. Me snug. And snug feel like cuddle! Oh, wait. Snuggy rubber. Ready? Snug pet kitty. Snug kiss kitty. Snug cuddle kitty. Snug love kitty. Help! Whoa! What's this? A secret escape room? Chapter 4. The Dog in the Hat. Meanwhile, while Dogman was still sound asleep, Lil Petey and ADHD were upstairs in the ballroom, completing their newest invention. Okay, ADHD, let's test it out. Meow. <coughs> now for the final test. Wake up, Dogman. Me and ADHD made a new invention. Let's try it on. Cool. You look just like a cat, dog man. And if you press your right ear, you can talk like a cat. Meow. Now try your other ear. <sniffs> now we need just one last detail. Perfect. Doorbell. Ruff, 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 that's Dogman. I know it's Dogman. Why is he dressed up like that? And Chief isn't allowed to hire dogs anymore, so we turned him into a cat. Nobody's going to believe that he is a cat. They won't? No! He looks ridiculous. Oh, well, we gotta help him, Papa. All right, all right. Here's some advice. 
Don't roll in any dead fish. And quick sticking your tongue out. Wow, he looks better already. Problem solved. All right, kid, let's go get some gelato. Okay. Bye-bye, Duck Thing. Good luck. Chapter 5. A bunch of stuff that happened next. Soon. Help wanted. Inquire within. P.S. No dogs. Hey, Chief. I think somebody's here about the new job. <laughs> Let him in, Buster. <laughs> Why? 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 Clump. Hey, give me that. You let go of that right now. Hey! Meow, 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 meow. Is it you? But Dogman, you can't be here. If Mayor ever finds out... Hey, Chief! Mayor's here! Shh! Why is it so damp in well, here? Well, uh, you see, we, um... Uh, uh, never mind that. Have you found a replacement for Dogman yet? Well, gee whiz, Mayor, we've only... What about him? A cat-headed man would be perfect. So clean. So smart. And he has nine lives. We should hire him. Well, okay. Awesome. I think I have Dogman's old badge in my pocket. Ah, here it is. Well, look at that. It fits perfectly. Congratulations. Welcome to the force. Hey, I solved another problem. I can't wait to go home and tell Mr. Snookums. Oh, boy. This is going to be great. Meanwhile. How's the gelato? Good. Hey, I started building a new robot this weekend. I could really use your help this week. Can't. Why not? I'm meeting with my comic club this week. <laughs> look, robots are more important than comics. Hi. Because we need robots for protection. Why? Because Grandpa might escape from jail again. Why? Because he's an evil villain. Why? Because he does terrible things. Why? Because he cares only about himself. Why? Because that's just the way he is. Why? Would you stop that? Why? Because it's irritating. Why? Hey, get off of me. Why? Because I don't want you dripping all over me. Why? Because I don't want to be all sticky. I won't drip on you, Papa. See? <laughs> Meanwhile, I can't believe my good fortune. This place has everything, including an escape door. <laughs> now I just need a one last thing. Oh, Snog! Hi, Kitty! Can I try on your hat? Sure. Here you go, Kitty. Squatch. Chapter 6. The Incorrigible Crud. Me crud. Crud smash. Hmm. What the crud do next? Oh, look. Crud see exit. Crud exit and wreak havoc. Crud punch. Crud kick. Crud provide unnecessary narration. Meanwhile. I'm sorry, Papa. Yeah, right. Splish. I told you not to climb on me with that gelato. Rinserama. Ready? Are you still mad at me, Papa? A little. But I'll get over it. Good. It's important to forgive, right, Papa? Yeah, I guess so. But you can't just forgive everybody. Why not? Because some folks don't deserve it. Like your grandpa. I forgave Grandpa a long time ago. How could you forgive that guy? He kidnapped you. He left you in a recycle bin. He's betrayed you every chance he's gotten. What kind of a monster would- Hey, Papa, look. I caught a worm. Are you even listening? Meanwhile. Good evening, folks. I'm Sarah Hatoff with the news. A weird spider-like cat is busting up the city. Crud steal. Tell us, Mr. Crud. What's it like being a ruthless villain? Hmm. If a crud be totally honest, it a little bit alone me. Crud wish him have someone to talk to. Crud need a buddy. <laughs> Did you hear that, Dogman? That evil cat is looking for a sidekick. And that gives me an idea. You must go undercover. Deep undercover. You must convince that crud guy that you're just as evil as him. Hmm. <coughs> and now for the final touch. <coughs> Perfect! Now get out there and make me proud. Chapter 7. Catman. Meanwhile. But why, Papa? Because your grandpa's a deadbeat. You can't just forgive and forget. Sometimes you just gotta hate. Hate isn't always a bad thing, you know. It isn't? Of course not. Hate keeps things alive. Hate is a connection. Sometimes hate is all you've got left. But what about love, Papa? Pfft. Love, shmove. Love is fine for people like you. You've lived a charmed life. But things were different for me. Grandpa was way meaner to me than he was to you. And he was even mean at my mom. Scoot. Chip, 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 chip. Hey, Papa. Psst. How come I met my grandpa? But I never met my grandma. Why, Papa? Just eat your food. But why, Papa? Papa? Meanwhile. 
Me guess me act so bad, because me feel so sad. Hey, maybe if you find yourself a body, you'll become enlightened. But where crud find a body? It not like a body just appear out of a nowhere. Meow. Hey, body! Body! Sss. Crud love body. Crud and a body do crimes. But what crime we do first? Mino, us a smash a bookshop. Come on, buddy. Hey, Crud is stuck. <coughs> Crud no understand. I'll tell you what happened, Cruddy. It looks like you just got busted by this awesome undercover cop, Catman. Did you see that, Mr. Snookums? Meow. I hired that cat. I guess that makes me the hero. Aren't you proud of me, Mr. Snookums? Well, folks, it looks like Crud has been captured. Crud captured? Crud no think so. Crud angry. Uh-oh. Cruddy Rama. You know like a crud when he angry. Ready? And then... Hey, you're Dog Man. Hey, that's Dog Man. I'm gonna help him. I'm gonna destroy him. Chapter 8. Big fight. Meanwhile... But why, Papa? I told you. I don't want to talk about it anymore. But why? Because you're just a kid. You couldn't possibly understand what I've gone through. I can try. Look, your grandpa... He abandoned me and my mom. He left when I was just a kitten. He left when... He left when my mom was sick. Your mommy was sick? Yeah. She got better than right? Hey, Papa! Look, kid. Sometimes... Bad things happen, and you just can't forgive, and you can't forget. Sometimes all you've got left is hate. I don't know, Papa. Hate has caused a lot of problems in this world, but it hasn't solved one yet. Meanwhile, Crud hate new body. Crud destroy new body. But first, Crud on thy tail. Not so fast, Cruddy. Zip, 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 zing, 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 crunch, crunch. Yo! Wait for me, gang. Not so fast, chief. Dogman isn't a cop anymore. But yet he was impersonating a cop. But Dogman belongs in jail. But, and if you help him, you're going to jail too. But, so what's it going to be, chief? Are you going to risk everything for that loser? Well, uh... You bet I am. Zong. Make way for chief. So, chief is a traitor, eh? Well, don't just stand there. Arrest them. But, but... No more butts. Arrest them or you're all fired. And so... Sorry, chief. We don't have a choice, Sarah. Ha <laughs> ha! Great. Now the bad guy's getting away. It's your own fault. You're helping a criminal. Now put those chumps in the copmobile and get them out of my sight. Okay, Mayor. <laughs> hey! Meanwhile. Hey, what's this? City's third largest lunch bag gift shop. Salt water taffy. Living spray. Warning. Please do not spray this giant lunch bag with living spray. Now available in our gift shop. Crud's a motor brain. I give him a good idea. Chapter 9, The Lunch Bag of Motor Brain Pow! Crud steal living spray. Now Crud unveil a secret plan in a cruddy rama. Ready? Crud read the label carefully. Crud shake a can vigorously. Crud spray bag thoroughly. Me, munchy. Munchy hungry. Is that so? Then let's eat. Mmm. Munch, 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 munch. Munchy thirsty. Crack, 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 crack. No, Munchy. No drink nuclear juice. Get a bellyache. Munchy, run to pond over there. Drink up water from the pond over there. Run, Munchy, run. Meanwhile, at the pond over there. Okay, class. Who knows what an adverb is? Oh, oh, oh. Someone besides Melvin this time. How about you, Molly? Um, an adverb is, it's like, um, a word that describes stuff. Could you be more specific? Um, you know, like thingies and stuff. Please, 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 please. All right, Melvin. An adverb is a word or phrase that modifies, quantifies, or qualifies a verb, adjective, or other adverb, expressing matter, place, time, frequency. Okay, that's great, Melvin. Now, who could use adverb in a sentence? Oh, oh, oh! Please, 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 please. All right, Melvin. <clears throat> I am as smart as a, 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 a lunch bag. Okay, but where's the adverb? 
Slap, slap, slap. Run, kids! Run! Run! Jump! Hide! Adverbs! Run quickly! Jump! Hide! Hide surreptitiously! Chapter 10. ADHD Power. Meanwhile... Well, folks, it looks like we are all doomed. Crud is on the loose, Munchie is attacking, and the good guys are heading to jail. Hey, where are all the TV cameras at? Shh. Anyway, who will help us in our hour of need? Who will answer our cry? Who will rise up to defeat the tyranny of our oppressors? <laughs> Meanwhile... And now he can barely stand up! I think he made his head too big. Oh, really? Gee, thanks, Professor Obvious. Did you get your centimeters and millimeters mixed up again? It's not funny. I worked really... Hi, ADHD. What's up, buddy? We have a door, you know! Do you understand what he's trying to say? Not really. I can't understand you, ADHD. Could have just drawn a picture. Come on, Papa. Let's go save the world. Oh, all right. Hey! What did I tell you about using the door? <laughs> zoom, 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 zoom. Well, you used the door that time. And so... Hi, Molly. Hey, guys. What you doing? I'm trying to save Flippy with my super psychokinetic powers, but I'm not strong enough. Maybe we can help. Oh, I get it. You're Mr. Love when everything's going well, but when something bad happens, you suit up and fight. What's Wally talking about? My name's not Wally. I know. I just like calling you Wally. I'm talking about Dr. Love here. All he cares about is love, love, love. But when he comes face to face with pure evil, then the claws come out. See? I told you. Hate is important. Only hate can defeat hate. Maybe Wally is right. Yeah, maybe. Hey, let's find out. Are you ready? Chapter 11 Love versus hate. Who will win? Okay, I know what we're supposed to do, but how do we do it? Hmm, that's a good question. Well, what do we love? I love to draw. Hey, me too! We all love to draw! I love to draw squids. I'll teach you how. First, you draw a triangle. Then you draw a face and some pointy legs. Wow! You're really good at drawing squids, Molly. Thanks. I practice all the time. ADHD loves to draw hearts, and I love my papa, so I'm going to draw him. Hey, don't draw my face on his butt. Too late. And so... Psst. Hey, mister, I like your new tattoos. They're so cute and darling and sweet, they make you look adorable. Munchie was so embarrassed, he let go of Flippy and covered his shame. Are you okay, Flippy? I'm fine. Hey, kids, you can stop hiding now. Yay, everybody grab a crayon, and let's show that dude some love. Hooray! Hooray! I love ice cream. I love puppies. I love tic-tac-toe. Me too. I love cars. I love music. I love bats. I love pizza. I love daddy. I love spiders. I love skeletons. I love dinosaurs. Gee, mister. I love mustaches. You're looking lovely. You're the most precious bad guy I've ever met. I love ponies. Hey, do you want to join our comics club? We can all draw together every day. Yeah! Bye-bye, Mr. Munchie. We love you. Come back soon. Hey, Papa, it looks like love won. Love got lucky. Well, you know what they say about a look. It always runs out. What are you guys going to do now? Papa, I think this is your battle. Chapter 12. The Ultimate Showdown. I don't know if I can do this, kid. Of course you can. It's your story, Papa. You can color it any way you want. Me got your friends, Petey. Technically, they're not really my friends. Oh, so you won't mind if me does this. Oh, no. Let's roll, Flippy. Grandpa! Ho, 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 I can't do it, kid. I can't love the way you love. Papa? You don't have to. Slide. Just let go of your hate. Yay! Yeah, Petey back for more punishment. Dead. What? I'm done. 
Done what? Done hating you. Oh, I hate you, sweet. So what are you going to do now? Love me? No. I'm going to f- forgive you. Forgive me? Forgive me for what? I never did anything to you. I wasn't even there. You don't get it to forgive me. Where do you think you're going? I gotta get this kid into bed. We're not done here. Actually, I think we are. Hey, get him back here. Good night, Grandpa. Good night, everybody. Let's all play again tomorrow. Bye, Wally. Chapter 13. Three Endings. The first ending. Grandpa's story. Hey, come back here and fight. Thanks a lot, Motor Brain. You didn't help me at all. Plunk, clunk, clunk. Hey, my hat. Plunk, plunk. Snug back. And so. Kitty. Oh, Kitty. Snug love, Kitty. No. The second ending. Dogman story. Clank. Yay. We're free. Not quite. Bump, bump. You still have to deal with me. Dog man, when I get through with you... Hey, Mia, your house is burning down. Mr. Snookums, I'll save you, Mr. Snookums. Mia, don't go in there. Mia, no! What can we do? The flames are too hot. But then... Zoom, zoom, zoom. Dog man, no! Chief, no! Gee, we're sorry about your house, Mia. I don't care about my house. Mr. Snookums is in there. And now he's... And now... And... And it's all your fault. What do you have to say for yourself? Well? (coughs) Mr. Snookums, you're safe. Thank you, dog man. You're the best dog-headed cop in town. Isn't he the only... Shh. The third ending. Lil Petey's story. Grandpa sure got mad when you forgave him. Yeah, if I'd have known it would bother him so much, I would have forgiven him years ago. Well, we're home, Papa. Yeah. Wait here, kid. I'll be right back. Okay, let's go. Where are we going, Papa? You'll see. I haven't been here since I was a kid. It's pretty, right? She's here now. And she's here. Is she here too, Papa? Well, it's your story, kid. You can color it any way you want. The end. Notes by George and Harold. Well, Petey's words on page 128 were taken from the following quote. Hate. It has caused a lot of problems in this world, but it has not solved one yet. By Angelou. Chapter 12 was based on this precept. Resentment is like drinking poison and waiting for the other person to die. Carrie Fisher. Part 3 of the final chapter was inspired by this poem. Do not stand at my grave and weep. I am not there, I do not sleep. I am a thousand winds that blow. I am the softly falling snow. I am the gentle showers of rain. I am the fields of ripening grain. I am in the morning hush. I am in the graceful rush of beautiful birds in circling flight. I am the starshine of the night. I am in the flowers that bloom. I am in a quiet room. I am in the birds that sing. I am in each lovely thing. Do not stand at my grave and cry. I am not there. I did not die. Mary Elizabeth Fry. How to draw a cat man in 21 ridiculously easy steps. How to draw Melvin the Frog in 17 ridiculously easy steps. How to draw Sarah in 18 ridiculously easy steps. How to make Munchie the lunch bag in 4 ridiculously easy steps. Step 1. Get supplies. Lunch bag, pencil, tape, construction paper, scissors, crayons, markers, colored pencils. Step 2. Draw and cut out the arms, legs, eyes, and tongue. Free printable colorable template available at scholastic.com slash catkidcomicclub. Step 3. Assemble as shown using tape or glue or paste. Step 4. Take away his evil powers by filling him up with all the people and things you love. Use pencils, crayons, paint, or whatever. Write, draw, be creative. How to draw the insuppressible snug in 34 ridiculously easy steps. Coming next, an all-new graphic novel series, Cat Kid Comic Club.